All right, so hey y'all, it's Katie. Welcome back to From My Vanity and welcome to another little declutter video. It's kind of like a declutter, but mainly it's going to be going through certain aspects of my makeup that I know I have a lot of older products and deciding which ones are old and just throwing them out. So I guess you could call it a declutter, but really it's just throwing out old and expired makeup. And I have us over here because we're going to start in this little drawer system right here, focusing on my gel liners because I know I have some old ones. We'll go through my liquid liners because again, I know I have some old ones. Ones. And then I'll also go through my mascara because at the bottom up here I do have some pens. So anyway, yeah, what we're going to do is just go through a couple aspects. I'm not going through my entire makeup collection, so it won't be that in depth, but there are certain drawers, certain areas of my makeup that I know I need to go through and just throw out some old things. So let's just hop right into it. So these are cream sticks, as you saw, I swatched them all and they're actually surprisingly still good. I mean, no joke, I wanna say these these ones right here, they, it was before the name changed and they're now Glow Skin Beauty, they used to be Glow Minerals. They gotta be at least four or five years old. They're old, but they're still like really nice and pigmented, but I just don't use cream sticks. So there's no point for me to keep this in my collection. Um, part of me thinks I should keep one just in case, but I don't know. I just feel like they could go to someone else. I'm going to pass them along to my sisters because they're, they're really great for just like a simple eye look. If you want to put just one in the lid on the lid or smoke this out and you know, blend it into the crease, it's like a one and done type of eye look. So I'm going to pass it on to someone who likes to do one and done or like sticks because I'm just not that person. So I'm going to just declutter these. They're not going in the trash because surprisingly I'm I'm shocked they still seem okay but I'll pass them along see if my sisters want them I'm going to be throwing this out because of Pixie. It's an eye brightener liner. As you saw, it crumbled when I tried to swatch it. It's really dried out, so I'm going to throw that away. And then these two I'm going to declutter. I will see. I know they're, neither one of them are super old, so I'm going to see if my sisters want them. But they're like a shimmery type of color, and I don't like that in my waterline, so decluttering these. And then for all these, these are Smashbox. I'm going to sharpen them real quick and see if I can revive them, but I know they're at least... Ooh, at least four years old, if not more. So I'm going to see if I can revive them. Oh, except for the sleek. This sleek is, is new. Um, oh, and then there's also this one. Oh, I'm not very observant. These are the Smashbox ones. Let me sharpen them and see if they are still dried out, like, farther down here. And then let me see this. Oh, yeah, that's the one I swatched. This one's still okay. Let me, let me sharpen these. Okay, so yeah, as you see, like if I sharpen these down, they're still good. There are pencils, so I feel like they're still kind of preserved farther down here. So I'm just going to go and sharpen all of these. And I'm going to keep all of them except for this one because this is, again, that kind of type of like shimmery one. And I just don't use them, so I'm going to just toss this. Okay, so I feel like doing that sharpening these down really revived these Smashbox ones. These are so good. Um, they stay in my waterline really nicely, so I really do like them. And since they're still good after I sharpen them down, I'm going to keep them. So uh, there is my eyeliners, or my gel liners, I should say. Now let's go into the liquid liners. All right, I'm first going to separate it to new things because there are some things that I know are relatively new, and they're still good. All right, so these I'm not so sure about. I'm going to mix them up and see how they look. This is a white eyeliner from NYX. That's good, and I don't have many white eyeliners, so I'm going to keep this. Oh, this one I just recently used. It's so good. It's from uh, Butter London, their Glaze and Lustrous Liner, and this one was in Ultraviolet. It's a pretty one. This is Butter London Stroke of Wow. It's a little pizza wheeler one. Let's see if it's still... Eh very watery. Let me give it a good shake. I don't really need this anymore since I have my BAM stamp, but I used to use this to get a straight line. That's a little bit better. I'll keep it for, mm, I'm just going to throw it away. It's been open a long time. So just to be safe, I'm going to throw this out. This is a Smashbox and Blotta, so that should tell you guys how old, oops, am I even in frame for these? How old this is? 
still looks good, but it smells a little strong, like chemically. So I'm going to throw this out. This is a Urban Decay razor sharp. Uh, this isn't super old, so I'll probably end up keeping this. Oh, maybe I won't end up keeping it. That was all dried out. How long have I had this? Maybe, I guess maybe a year and a half, two. Yeah, this is completely dried out and it's been shut tight in my drawer for so long. Well, that's a bummer. That's a shame throwing this out. Okay, this is the NYX Vivid Brights. This, I bought this at the same time as the Urban Decay one because I was comparing them like formula wise. So let's see. I have a video with these. Okay, this is still good, but as you can see, it's starting to dry out. But I will keep it for now, I think. Let me make sure it doesn't smell. Yeah, it still smells the same. It's just starting to get dried out at the tip. So I don't know how long this will actually last. This I'm going to throw out. I just don't like how bulky it is. It's still good. I opened it a couple months ago, but I just don't like the thick tip. So I'm going to toss it. These two are from CoverGirl. They're the same. I got them at the same time. They're just different colors. This is oh, watery. Hang on. Let me mix that again. Okay, let's try this again. This is a blue. Okay, butter. Still watery. And then this is a matte brown. I'll keep the matte brown, but that blue, maybe it's meant to be that watery, but I don't know. I just don't have a purpose for that. I don't like how watery it is, so I'm going to throw this away. And last up is this. I think I just used it. I think this is still good. It's also from um, CoverGirl Their Active line, even though the writing's gone. Oh yeah, this one's still good. And this dries to, I think, a matte finish. It's very pigmented, though. But anyway, I'm going to keep this. Almost forgot I had some sitting behind me. Liquid liners. Let's see what's dried out and what's not. This is that same one, the Urban Decay. Let's see. I don't hear anything going around in there, so this could be all. Oh, no, this is still. Okay, this is drying out, but hasn't dried out. So doesn't smell. I'm going to keep it for a little bit longer. This is still good, gonna keep it. Wow, that's still good and really pigmented. This is um, Rimmel's Color Precise Keeping. Oh, this is a white one from Rimmel. Mm, it's still good, but uh, I don't know, since I have the NYX one, I feel like I don't need this one. So I'm gonna uh, throw this out. And last one, this is from Jessie's Girl, a blue one. This is really old and it's like two-tone in color. Oh, was I even in frame? I'm really bad at this. I'm so sorry. But anyway, it's like two-tone in color, if you can tell, which is kind of concerning. I know this is really old. I'm going to throw this out. And then last up are all these. These are um, Too Faced's like sketch markers. I got sent this in PR because I was still on Too Faced PR way back when. Honestly, this is at least four years old, so it's pretty old. But hey, that still looks good. I never liked, do you see that? It bleeds. I never liked how theirs did that. It did that even when it was new. These are surprisingly still good. I'm shocked. My daughter bent that. Oh, this one is pretty much dead. Throwing out. That one's still good. I need to play more with colorful liners. They would be fun. That one's still good. Kind of watery, but I'm just gonna throw this out. That's kind of watery and not that impressive. And then the white one. I never liked the white one though, if I remember correctly. And I'm gonna throw it out because I have that next one. Okay, so keeping these, I'm gonna go ahead and put my colorful ones behind here because I do think it's kind of pretty to see in the background. And I'll just keep my am I even in frame no what's new and I'm going to keep all of these to be my just black ones and then my colorful ones will be behind me when I do my YouTube channel so there's all the ones I'm keeping these are all the liquid liners I'm throwing okay I am now moved over and I know this is in the way but I'm going to go through my foundation drawers and see if there's anything old I don't think there is like anything extremely old but I definitely want to go through here because I feel like there's probably a couple ones that smell kind of funky now because they've been in there a while okay so this is the only foundation I'm going to toss mainly because like it's an open container it's no pump and let me see if you guys can even see I don't know if you'll be able to see but it's mainly gone and I know I've had this for years and the last time I used it I wasn't a crazy big fan of it I kind of fell out of love with it so I'm gonna throw this away 
Okay, so I'm going to be throwing out all these. This is very old. I actually pulled it from my shop, my stash, uh, in my last shop, my stash, and I went to use it, and it just smelled weird, and there's not much left, so I'm just going to throw it out. Same with this. If you can see, oh, am I in frame once again? Um, As you can see, it's not moving. It's kind of separated and old and all dried out in there, so throwing that out. And then these two, they smell a little off, but I know I've had them for years, years. So I'm just going to stay on the safe side. I've been trying a lot of new, or like I should say, I have a lot of new mattifying primers. I'm going to try this summer. So to stay safe, knowing that I have more coming in, I'm going to throw away my oldest ones, especially since they smell kind of off. I don't have too much with this stack because it's all powders and I feel like powders last a long time. And concealers too, I'm really good at kind of staying on top and rotating through them. So nothing there is super old. I would say the oldest one is the Tarte um, Shape Tape, but it's, again, it's not that old. I do want to go through this because I feel like I've had these products in here forever and I have no desire to use them. This is the La Ilor kind of palette for your brows. Again, I mean it doesn't look like it's going bad but I've had this in there for at least a year maybe two and I don't want to use this and then this one I think I've had for two years and I used it. Part of me thinks I should keep it just to have a brow pomade for when I want it but honestly I don't need a brow pomade. I'm not someone who likes to have a brow pomade. So maybe I'll regret it later if I get into brow pomades. But at this moment, I feel like I never will because I just don't need that for my brows. It's just too harsh for me. So I'm going to declutter these. They're not super old, so I'll see if my sister wants them, but I'm getting them out of my collection. Okay, this isn't taking too long. Um, This is going pretty fast. I think all we have are these three drawers. This down here is highlighters. This is blushes. Again, all of them are powder products, and I'd rather just kind of declutter them, get them out of my collection as I do shop my stashes and get a feel for them. Again, this video is mainly focusing on getting rid of old expired products that have gone bad. Okay, so as you can see, these are my cream glitters, cream shadows, liquid shadows, whatever you want to call them. Let's go through the Stila ones because I think those are the oldest. I should have cleaned off my hand, but I did not. Um, this is in Sea Siren. I think this is more of a new buy. And that still looks good. So we are keeping it. If these are still good, I am keeping it because I really do like the Stila glitter and glows. This is in, wait, do I have two Sea Sirens? Oh, Sunset Cove and Sea Siren. I just read the first one wrong. Let's see. This one's looking a little like it's dry now, but it's still good, so we're going to still hang on to it. This is in Into the Blue. This is really pretty. Doesn't it? Am I in frame? I'm so bad at this. Sorry. Um, as you can see, it looks like it's drying out there, but doesn't it look like duochrome -y? Or not duochrome like multi-chrome? Oh, but it's all dried out. Yeah, this is pretty much all dried out. We are going to say goodbye to this one. Next is Kitten Karma. I know this is my oldest one, so I have a feeling. Yeah, I mean, there's glitter in it, but the the liquid's all gone. I am getting rid of it because the reason I like the Stila glitter and glows is the liquid really helps it stay on the eyelid. This is in Diamond Dust. This is a favorite. Oh, it does seem like it's dried out. Well, that's a bummer. I had hoped that the smaller ones would last longer, but I mean, you can make it work, but no, I'm not going to sit here and make it work because by the time I actually get to use it, it'll definitely be dried out. So decluttering that one, throwing that one away. This is from, what is it? GLF Cosmetics. This is a newer, Ooh, what is this? Okay. Maybe that's how it is. It didn't look right. Let me shake it up though. Cause it does look very liquidy. I need a new spot. Almost looked like I was unscrewing it wrong, but I guess not. Oh yeah, that's still good. This one was okay. It, as you can see, like it's it's pretty, but it's not like what I like in the glitter and glows. Like I feel like the glitter and glows just have different dimensions of glitter, whereas this is just like a silver glitter. Still pretty, but just not what I have in mind. This is Tink Wink, I think. Wink Tink, something like that from J Cat. I really like this shade, but yeah, that was all liquid. Let me see if I can shake it up. See if I can revive it. This isn't that old, I feel like. That's the only problem with these liquid sh shadows or even cream shadows. Yeah, that's no good. They just, they dry up and go bad quicker. And I really need to just get like one of each shade and then call it good. I don't need to have all these different brands because I don't use them enough. This is, um, did I even say Glitter Goals from NYX? 
that's still good. Did I say the shade? Polished Pinup. I think this was the first one I tried from the Glitter Goals line that I liked. And then I also have Industrial Beam. Or maybe it was Industrial Beam that I got first. I can't remember. I really like this shade. And yeah, it's still good. My apologies if I'm ever out of focus or off frame. Um, editing Katie is going to hate me. This is the Warrior Glitter Shadows from Flower Beauty. I really did like these. More as like a colored shadow. Not so much like intense glitter. But they're very pretty. And still good. I need to bring these out and use them. I really liked them. And then this one is in camo. Did I see what this one was in? Flame. Ooh, this one doesn't. This one looks kind of gunky. But still good. It's still liquidy. It's not drying out. Gonna keep it. Then this is the Lid Glitz Appeal. I'm just gonna get rid of this. I hated this when I tried it out. I have a first impression and then I followed it up with a review later. Oh my goodness, but it's already dried out. I got this right before, I want to say. Was it right before or a couple months before I moved from Virginia? So about a year old. Already dried out. This is the Too Faced Tutti Fruity ones. They're little glitter cream shadows. Let me make sure this is mixed up. I am going to be a mess by the time I finish this video, which I kind of assumed. Oh, this seems like, well, maybe not. Let me get it swatched on a better smoother area it's not the same it's definitely like separated but I think it's more just separated I need to shake it up some more because as you can see when I pull it in and out there's still liquid in there so I'm going to keep this one. Oh, here's another Stila one that was hiding this is I got at the same time as the other mini though so oh wow do we see that let me swatch it better this one's actually still going strong I'm keeping it that's interesting. I wonder if the other one just dried out because I used that one so much because I know I liked that one, that there wasn't enough product in it to keep it from drying out and that's why it's dried out. I don't know. Anyway, this is Aurora from Hard Candy Glitterazzi. I forget what I thought about these. I think I like these. Yeah, they're a very sheer topper shade. They're still good. They're just kind of like a shimmer instead of like a glitter. But they're very pretty. I'm gonna have to stop soon and get something. Oh yeah, these are all still good. Oh, I should say these two are still good. Let me try this one too, if I cannot drop it. This is in Galactic, and then this one I just tried was in Twinkle. Oh yeah, these are all still good. Keeping them, they're very pretty. Not intense glitter, but definitely beautiful, intense like shimmer. Okay, I'm going to try these, then i got to clean my hand because I'm making messes. These are all from Pixie. I've gotten them in PR over the years. This is in Sunrays. I think this is my favorite one. So let's see if it's still, still good. Yep, it's still good. I know it's sparse, but it's still liquidy and creamy, and the formula has just always been like that. It's more of a glitter topper than really pigment like the Stila ones. There's, no, there's not a whole lot of color. It's mostly just a glitter topper shade. Oh yeah, that's still good, still liquidy. This one is crystalline. Then I have a rose gold. I guess I can see if I need all these, right? That one's pretty, I'll keep it. This is in Passion Light. Is that one? Yeah, Passion Light. Ooh, this looks like a fun shade. That's why I'm not crazy about these, because if you can see, like, it's not the most even distribution of the glitter, and it's not the most pigmented, so I feel like you it's really noticeable when you use this on the eyelid. So that's kind of like my biggest con. And also, there's fallout throughout the day, but I mean, it's pretty if you don't mind that it's not the most even distribution of the glitter, which is why I like the Stila ones, because I feel like it was always very even and effortless to get the glitter on. This is my least favorite one, but I'll save it for the random very random, very rare days when I want a black glitter. But anyway, yeah, so that's what we have. Um, I'm really happy with that. Let me rearrange these. We have all these and we got rid of these. So five of them are old and getting thrown out. And then these are all, thankfully, I'm surprised, these are all still kicking and going strong. Okay, so here's next. I'm going to ignore all these because they are very new and I know they're still good. Oh, I forgot we had some overflow in here. So I'll go through these first. Um, I did not get everything off just because I'm trying to finish filming this before Levi wakes up and he's supposed to, like typically he wakes up any second now, so. 
I'm in a hurry here. Um, this is really nice. It's not a glitter. It's more of just like a shimmer, I would say, or just a reflective type of cream shadow. But I love this for the inner corner. I'm going to stick that with the glitters, though, since they are kind of the same formula. This is the Milani Hypnotic Lights. I haven't had it that long, but as you can see, it looks empty. And I did not use it that much, so I feel like it's drying out. But it's still swatching good. We'll keep it. Ooh, that was really pretty reflection. We'll keep it. I'm going to put it with the glitters the cream glitters, I guess I should say. This is in Azul Lemonade, I think, from JCAT. This should be fine because I just used it like a couple months ago. But yeah, I remember when I used it, which I had just opened it, that it was getting a little funky. You know, I'm just going to get rid of this. By the time I get around to using it, it'll be fully all dried out, which is a bummer. This is basically a waste of money because it dried out in my two try pile, basically. <laughs> this is from Steel, but it's not the Glitter and Glow. It's their Shimmer and Glow in the shade carefree this is really pretty if you like just a shimmer shade there's no glitter in it which was kind of a bummer but it's really pretty very pretty and if i remember it was very light on the eyelids so there wasn't a whole lot of cracking and whatnot but i'm gonna put that with the glitters i think no i'll keep it in here since uh that glitter drawer is getting full this is from appeal look it's a liquid eyeshadow we got in a boxy charm a long time ago but it's still good like look at that i need to use this to like cut my crease and put like that in the crease of an eye look that'd be really pretty and last up this is ybf liquid star shadow in stellar i'm pretty sure we got this in a boxy charm as well i'm sorry if it keeps going out of focus i forget to check it's still good but i'm going to declutter this um and i'm just gonna throw it away i can't remember when i had this and it's a cream shadow it's not that impressive i don't know it's just not that beautiful i don't know i just don't want to have it so i'm going to throw it out though because i'm pretty sure it's very 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 old <laughs> i can't remember what, exactly when i got it okay so let's go with these you know these i know i got them the year i had my daughter they're really interesting shadows i love them just because of how unique they are they're like this powder and they look like insanely weird and tricky to use but when you use them on your eye and like break up that powder they're really pretty. This opal one I was never super crazy about, but this one, Topaz. I remember I used this on my eye the Thanksgiving I had my daughter. I must have dropped that other one, the opal one, because it's not as full as this one. And I know I didn't use it, but anyway, you just take those little beads and then you break it up and apply it. And it's this pretty little shadow. And I think it's a mineral watercolor. I don't know. They were gorgeous back in the day. I loved them. I've held on to them since I got them four years ago. My daughter's four years old. Um, I remember wearing them Thanksgiving right before she came, but I feel like, I don't know, I've grown out of them and they're super old. They're powder, so they're probably fine. I don't know. I'll see if one of my sisters want them, but I don't want them anymore. This is a ColourPop Origami, and I think... I already know what this is because I checked it a couple weeks ago, but I wore this for one month and I made sure when I put this away, the lid was on tight and correctly and it's all dried out, which is so, so sad because that's just like a waste of money. Um, I have one. I, I mean, they're gorgeous. I love how beautiful these are, but I hate to buy them because they dry out so easily. I've heard you can revive them, but they're just going to dry back out really fast. I think it's just the nature of the formula. I don't know. I just, I was very bummed and it dried out way too quickly. I can't remember exactly when I bought this, but it, it couldn't have been more than a year ago. I don't know, but that's just a huge bummer. I ha I know I reviewed it on my channel, so if you want to go look, you can, but I'm tossing that. These, on the other hand, these are from Butter London. They are, in my opinion, the original kind of jelly eyeshadows, which you see here, because I saw them before everyone else was doing it. I want to say, was it Huda Beauty or the Farsali that kind of made it popular and then everyone else started coming out with it? But these were before all of those. Anyway, I've had these longer than the ColourPop ones. So let's see if it's all dried out. I have had these for, oh gosh, how many years? Oh, this one's starting to dry out. It might be four years. It might be that I first got these when my daughter was born. Look at that. I mean, it's, I know it's drying out because I remember the formula originally and it feels firmer. So it is drying out. But like I said, I think I bought these originally during a Ulta 21 days of beauty before my daughter was born. So at least four years old. And then this one they sent me 
this is the special edition, whichever ultraviolet, like, do you see that? It's still, it's still so moist and so like hydrated. Look at that. Mm, yeah. And these, like I said, this one, at least I, I forget whenever ultraviolet was the color of the year, they did a thing with Pantone. So I'll put it on the screen here. That's how old this is. And it's still going strong as opposed to this. I checked this a couple months ago and that's why I wanted to do this video because I knew it dried out. It couldn't even last a year. And who knows when it dried out? Maybe it couldn't even last a month because I just noticed it a couple months ago, but it could have dried out within a month of having it. Ugh, it's just so disappointing. And yeah, I just feel that's a testament to paying a little bit more for it to last that long. Like these are still going strong. These are all probably six years old. I can't even remember. I used to be so into these, but let's see. Do I want to keep these? These are all like powder. They're like press powder, I guess you could say. So they're technically should be fine. Let me swatch one. They, they, yeah, they should be fine, but I'm just, I'm not into that color anymore. I feel like I should just get rid of this one. I'm going to think about that. These colors are pretty. This is like a, this is a dark purple. I don't think I need this. Yeah, it's just like a pressed powder, basically. Yeah, I don't need that. It's like a satin shade. No way am I going to ever bother to pull this out to wear that. I used to try to collect them, so I think that's why I have this. Um, this blue one's pretty. I know the silver one I used to love. Let me see if I still love it. Clean off a finger. That still looks really pretty. Yeah, that's pretty. I'll keep it for a while longer. Same with the green, just because I love greens, even though that's a bit deeper than I would like. Did I even put that in correctly? Oh, yeah. Um, I'll keep this. I'll keep this. I'll keep that. I'll keep these more for nostalgia and just because I used to love them. But these, I know I'm never going to use. These, I could potentially come back and reach for them. But these, no way. I am throwing those out. Or I guess offering them to my sisters since they are powders. They're not, you know, they're not bad yet. Okay, so that is that in here. I feel like we got rid of some stuff. And I think we threw out about seven products that were in here. Okay, last up. Let me go through these because I know these are incredibly old. I bought them whenever they were a holiday, like limited edition thing. Okay, I can't even squeeze it out. Oh, and it just all came shooting out. <laughs> Good job, Katie. Good job. Um, let me see. It still feels creamy. Yeah, it's still creamy. It just took a long time to come out. That is actually really pretty and creamy. Um, should I clean this up and keep it? I always liked it because it had this little well. Hang on, let me clean up myself. Okay, so a little bit cleaner. Um, I'll keep it for now. This I'm probably going to get rid of though because I don't like this color. I don't want to do the same thing I did before, but like I'm squeezing it. I'm going to see either use it all up or it's all dried up. Okay, it's still coming out. Let me see if it's any good. It's fine. Um, I'm just gonna throw this away. As you can see, there's hardly anything in there. This one I remember using a lot. This one doesn't feel as smooth, but it's still got some pigment. Uh, I'll see. If I have um, shades like either one of these in here, I will throw them out just because I know they're a lot older and the Stelazis are a lot newer. This is from Morphe. I have a feeling this is gonna be dried out, but let's see. I'll just grab a brush. I am a mess. Okay, it's not completely dried out. I actually use this a good bit. It's not completely dried out, but it's extremely stiff. I could get a decent line with that, but I feel like, you know, I have other black lines and I really am not into gel liners, so I'm pretty sure I'll throw this out, but let me try the others. This is the L'Oreal one. I used to, oh my goodness gracious, do you see that? I basically hit pan on it. Let me see if it's still any good. Oh, I think so. It's hard to see because it's black, but it still feels like it's going in there. Yeah, but it's mostly dried out. And honestly, like, come on, I, I finished that. I don't know why I was holding on to that. And then this is the Maybelline one. I know this one's pretty full. I went through a whole one of these in the past. It's so creamy. Yeah, this one's still good. Yeah, that's still good. It's actually a little firm. I feel like it's drying out. I can't remember the last time I used this, but I will hold on to that. Let me see. I know this Delazi one had a black one. Let me see if that one's still good. I really like this Delazi one. Oh yeah, so creamy. And I've had these, I don't know, when did Delazi like first launch? Cause that's when I got these. They sent me these in PR and they are stunning. I could probably go back in my email and see. It's actually more pigmented than the Maybelline. So I think I'm going to 
declutter the Maybelline. I'll give it to my sisters because it's, you know, could be good to practice and I know it's not that old. But these two I am throwing out. Okay, let me see these other ones. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, Katie, that's the one I already went through. That basically looks like this color. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this out since it was so hard to get up in the first place. And then this is still, still really good. Like that was so creamy and pigmented and easy to work with. Ooh, that is pretty. I need to use these more. Story of my life. So I think I'll keep all these. I didn't. I guess new, that one's not true red like this one was. So I'll keep this for now since I don't really have one exactly like it, but I would like to replace it because that's old. And then last up, I have all of these glitters. So let's see. I know all of these glitter goals um, from NYX Cosmetics. They are very new. I actually just bought two of them. This one used to be uh, from NYX, but I think they discontinued it and then came back with these. But it honestly does the same job. And it's still good, so I am going to keep it. And then I have these two. Um, honestly, I'm going to get the, rid of this one just because it's, I don't know, just a basic color. And honestly, the pigment isn't there, so it's just not that impressive. And I have other ones that give me a silver with barely black. But this one's actually kind of unique. And uh, last time I, when I reviewed these, they actually didn't have it. I don't know if they finally brought it back, but... This eyeliner was nice. It just, it doesn't sit very nice in the crease, but it's nice on like if you want to line your eyes and you don't have hooded eyes. But like I said, I don't think you can get it. But that is really pretty. Let me compare it to Pyro because that's kind of what it reminds me of. Except that this has a green shift to it. And then this just has multicolored shifts to it. Yeah, they're definitely different. And the glitter crease lover in me is keeping both of them. Okay, so this one, as you can see, looks like it's super separated. This one always does that. I don't think I've ever noticed it with any of the other ones. I don't know if it's because of this color or what. But as you can see, I feel like it never fully mixes. But I got all of these at the same time, and the others are fine. So I think I'm just going to get rid of this. Because that's just a watery mess. And I cannot... Maybe I should try standing it up. I don't know. It's just the color doesn't want to diffuse. I'm just going to get rid of it and look for either re buy it to replace it or look for a different one to replace it because I've noticed that for a while. Um, this one is like a pink, kind of like pyro, but just leans more pink and I want to keep it. <laughs> this one is still going strong. It's a silver. I'm going to keep it because it's still, it's still there. kind of reminds me of a, that black one from BH Cosmetics that went bad keeping it. Let me see about these. These, I feel like these two and these two are very similar. So let me see the difference if I need to keep them. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of this and keep this just because uh, this one does definitely feels like it's just watering out. It's not mixing well. It's old. So I'll go ahead and do that. Well, you know, I just mixed it up really hard and it came back with a nice swatch. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Don't get mad at me. And then let me try these two last. It's a little more pigmented than the other one, but there's those two. I don't think I'll get much use out of either one of these because they're so dark and you guys know I like to kind of put it in a matte eye in my crease. Man, I am a mess. Kind of like I do with these all the time, but I'm going to keep it for now because they both are fine. They're both different. They're both... I don't know. I like my glitter liners. So there is that. I think I did pretty good with that. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got rid of six of them and I'm keeping all of these. So, all right. So yeah, that is going to be it for this little throwing out my old makeup video. I do have to do my lipsticks because that is another area of my makeup that I know I have so much old expired lipstick that's probably growing things, smelling bad, you name it. Um, yeah, it's been bad. I haven't really gone through it since I've moved in. I've just kind of shuffled them around, but I have so much. There's just not enough room in this video. I don't want to make it too long. So look forward to that. I'm hopefully going to get it up on my channel in another week or two. I'm trying to do these relatively quick-ish just so I can get them done because they've been on my need-to-do list 
for so long. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, going through my makeup and throwing out my old makeup video. Uh, let me go ahead and swing you around so you can see all the stuff we're throwing away. Okay, so this is everything. Um, I feel like this is a lot. Uh, maybe I'll count this afterwards and put the number on the screen. But yeah, this is everything. I'm going to be getting rid of it. And 99% is going in the trash. Just a couple things I'm going to offer to my sisters to see if they want it. But yeah, this is everything that I am throwing out from my makeup. So I hope you guys enjoyed going along for the ride. Um, let me know what you guys think of this video. But yeah, with all that said, thank you guys so very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, per usual, hit the thumbs up button on your way out. And thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch another one of my videos. I appreciate it so very much and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys.